What's up guys, Justin here, back again with another video. I hope that you're all doing well today and I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you're all looking forward to 2024. My Christmas was really good and I hope your guys' Christmas was as well. Got some really cool presents and um, I hope you guys got some really cool presents as well. Let me know down in the comment section what Santa got you. I got a lot of awesome stuff this year and I'm sure you guys did as well. And uh, sorry about not making another Spider-Man Christmas special guys. <laughs> I hope you guys watched the original one this year as well. I actually had plans to make another one this year but since Dimension Rift has been delayed to January, hopefully, hopefully just January. I haven't really gotten around to doing it, so maybe I'll do one in 2024 for Christmas in 2024. But yeah, we're working super hard on Dimension Rift. And oh my gosh, the second trailer. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Seriously, guys, all I gotta say is just thank you so much because I did not expect the trailer to get 1,000 views in under 24 hours. That is just insane to me. It is absolutely insane. And I just can't thank you guys enough because we've been working on this project for almost a year now. And it's going to be over a year once the movie actually releases. Blew my expectations out of the water with how long I thought it was going to take to film this movie. And earlier on in the year I expected it to come out in like October or something like that. Obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> so hopefully it's just going to be January. If it, for some reason it's delayed to February, well then there's no way it's going to be past February. Like that's, that's just so unrealistic. But yeah, like 1000 views in under 24 hours. I just, it blew my mind. It literally blew my mind and I can't Thank you guys enough, I know I keep saying that, but I can't. And it was so awesome to see everybody's reaction videos, and it was just, yeah. I love seeing you guys' reaction videos, and it just put a smile on my face to see you guys' reactions to it. And I all hope to see your full reactions to the actual movie when it comes out, because it's gonna be... It's going to be a big night, it's going to be a premiere obviously, and I'm probably going to be inviting some of the cast to come over and watch with us at home. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. And another thing, another big drop about Dimension Rift is that, as you guys probably know, the runtime was originally supposed to be around an hour 15 minutes to around an hour 25 minutes. That was my original estimate of the runtime when we started filming. And... Mm, Again, my expectations got completely blown out of the water because I've been editing some of the finished sequences together and it kind of seems like that the runtime is going to be somewhere between 1 hour 40 minutes to 1 hour 50 minutes. Isn't that just crazy? It's crazy. Never in my life that I think the Dimension Rift was going to be that long, but here we are. It's, it's insane. It's, it's, it's just insane. I don't, I don't have any other words for it. It's just insane. Anyway, let's talk about what we're here to do today. And today, we're going to be reacting to Elboy Carson's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse in real life. Now, this is a short Across the Spider-Verse fan film, and I know, Lucas, if you're watching right now, I know how eager you were to see my reaction. And I'm doing it on New Year's Eve. That's what it is in Australia right now. It's the 31st of December. It's New Year's Eve right now. So hopefully you wake up to it on your New Year's Eve, whilst I'll be over in 2024. <laughs> I'm really excited to see this because I know how much you want to see people's reactions to this, and I also did the web effects for it. So I'm curious to see how all of that, like, you know, ties together with all the other footage that's in there. And it's also great to see new cast members, as well as the actress that played Gwen in your Spider-Man No Way Home suit video. So I can't wait to see her again in it and can't wait to see your brother Landon as Miguel. I can't wait to see the actors that play Miles and Peter B. Parker and etc. If there is any more, I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, I know how eager you are to see my reaction, so I'm doing it tonight. And then after I do this reaction, and edit it and upload it, I'm just going to go straight back to editing the movie because January is going to be a very, um, very busy month to do all the editing and the filming and also the stop motion credits. I'm going to be doing that again this year. Actually, I should probably say next year, but yeah, I'm doing that again for this movie. And yeah, I'm also going to start working on a mystery costume for Dimension Rift that you guys don't know anything about. So you just have to wait for the movie for that one. But yeah, movie's almost done, getting really close. It's like 97% completed at this point. It's crazy. It's going well though. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. But anyway, let's put Dimension Rift aside just for a moment. And let's react 
to Lucas's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse short film. And yeah, without further ado, the thumbnail looks cool as well. Without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Before we start, I'm just gonna have a drink of coffee that my Aunt May gave me. No, my Aunt May didn't give it to me. My actual in real life auntie gave this cup to me a while back. Yeah, it's a pretty sick cup. It's got the Raimi Spider-Man on there. Okay, I'm in Lucas's channel, and as you can see, I have not watched it, so there's no red line. And no, I didn't go to watch it on another account or anything like that, don't worry. But yeah, anyway, I'm really eager to see what this is like, so let's just get straight to it in three, two, one, now. You ready, Miles? Yeah, you sound a little worried. Okay, let's go. I'm not worried. <laughs> you can just be a little intense sometimes. Relax, the relax. Patties. I'll rizz him up with my friends. You are not rizzing him up with. Okay, shut up, shut up. I was using the word riz. Yellow hero, meet. Whoa, Miles the lighting. Hey, ¿qué tal, tío? Yeah, I speak Spanish. <laughs> that shot. Oh. I'm out of you. He actually used the one that I didn't expect him to I use. Found a way to catch a spot. Oh, I found a way to catch a spot. I'm really excited. Oh, that's yeah, nice. That's really <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Miguel, it's not his fault. You're the camera on top what of the object. You blew another hole in the multiverse. What is happening? Hey, Miguel. Go easy on the kid. You had a terrible teacher. Hey, Peter B. Parker. He had no chance. Peter. Miles, come here, man. Oh, it's Aww. so good to see you. Hey, uh. About Miguel, he just thinks he's scary, but he's really got no bite. <laughs> How's my little friend <laughs> doing? Good, um, man. Good. Oh, Miles, so you disrupted a canon event. A canon event? Hey, look, he's just a kid. He wasn't thinking. That's not really how he works, though. So. That's insulting. <laughs> what are you talking about? I saved those people. The canon chapters that are part of every Ooh. spider story. Every time. Oh. Some good. I saw that. Some bad. Some very bad. Some very bad. Captain Stacy. I'm so sorry. Dude. Lucas is in it as Peter. That's how Parker. the story is supposed to go. Canon events are the connections that bind our lives together. But those connections can't be broken. Yeah. That's why anomalies are so dangerous. Dude, the lighting in this Inspector is sick. Inspector Singh's death was a canon event. You weren't supposed to be there. And you weren't supposed to save him. And that's why Gwen tried to stop you. Hmm. I thought you were trying to save me. I was. I was doing both. I once broke a cannon event trying to save my family from a deceased father. I thought it was harmless, but it wasn't. Oh, this is so emotional. Isn't that right, Peter? You break enough cannons, you save enough captains, you could lose everything. My dad's about to be captain. Yep. I remember this scene and then across the spider verse. I'm gonna take everything from you. Like you took everything from me. Yo. Yo. Spot does it. He kills him. That really looked happen? like his dad. When does it happen? In two days, when he's sworn in. That's what the model says. Send me home! <laughs> I can't do that. Not now. What am I supposed to do? Let him die? Gwen, your dad's a captain, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna let people die because of some algorithm? You have a choice between saving one person or the entire world. Really? You can't ask me not to save my father. Not asking. Oh. Miles, come on, we, we can work this out, man. 
Miles! Goodness. You're just a stupid kid who has no idea what he's messing around with. You need to stop, or else we're all suffer from this. Everyone Dude. keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm I'll gonna do, do my, my own, own thing. thing. Yo! Holy sh! Track the kid. He has no idea what's coming for him. Dude. Yeah. To be continued. To be continued? Hey, look, that's my video. You guys should go watch it. Oh, look, that's my that's my video. Go watch it, guys. Okay, that went by really quick. A lot quicker than I thought it was going to. I mean, it was five minutes, but damn, dude. Holy crap. That was so sick, dude. Like, seriously. For a five-minute little short film, that was, like, really, really, really good for a Across the Spider-Verse fan film. The colors were great. The lights that you used were great. When Miles ran out of that room, I couldn't even tell if those rainbow lights were like practical or digital. I couldn't even tell because it looked sick. And it really, really mimics the brightness and like the vibrant colors that are in Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse. It was really, really, really good. The Spider-Man 2099 suit looks so beautiful. It looks so good. It's li it's literally perfect, and your brother Landon is perfect as Miguel. Out of the people that you know to be in like your fan films, your brother was perfect to play Miguel in that fan film. And the actor for Miles did a great job. Gwen did a great job, and I really really loved the guy that played Peter B. Parker. He was really funny. His acting was really really good as well. And yeah, the intensity, the emotion, it's really captured in this in this short film and I loved it it was super good super good and I noticed like I was trying to talk at the same time as watching it there was so many things happening at once I was like dude look, look there's this oh wait no no there's this now oh my god oh my god I noticed Scarlet Spider in the top corner there from Dimension Rift from the trailer and that was really cool to see and for the web effects I actually thought you were going to use the ones where he shoots the normal webs. I didn't actually think you were going to use the glowing orange webs that Miguel has because I wanted to give you two options just in case you wanted to use that one. I actually thought that you were going to use the, the normal webs but the fact that you used the orange ones made me really glad because I think they turned out really cool. I'm really proud with how those ones turned out. And that shot of you as Peter Parker, your acting was so good there Lucas. Like it was really emotional. The little like comic book colors and effects that you used for that were really cool as well and yeah you, you guys did such an amazing job recreating that scene from across the spider-verse a really good live action adaption and i loved it and the music that you used the color grading the i don't know man i don't know what else to say it was just so good i'm lost for words there is one thing that i do want to bring up about this though a little tip that i have for you now this is not necessarily anything bad about films but it's just something that I've learnt about making films myself that maybe I can teach you a little bit as well, just to give you a little tip, is that I couldn't tell whether or not this fan film was like at 30 FPS or like 50 FPS or something, or something like that, I'm not too sure. But sometimes if you have a frame rate too high when you're recording, the video can sometimes look too smooth. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but if you want your film to look even more cinematic than it already is, having the frame rate at like 25 fps or 24 fps actually makes it look more cinematic and you might not believe me with that but having a lower frame rate can actually make it look more cinematic for maybe for future films if, if you want it to look more cinematic having the frame rate at like 25 or 24 fps can make it look a little bit better because having it 30 fps is not too bad but it sometimes it can make it look a little less cinematic because the the frame rate is higher and it makes the video look smoother it look makes it look a little more like if you were recording like a vlog or something like that but yeah one thing you should do that would be really cool get that fan film and then put like a comic book filter over the whole thing and then export it like 15 frames per second so it actually looks like the the across the spider verse movie i think that'd be pretty sick 
But yeah, dude, other than that, you did such a good job with this. Can't wait to see what else you produce on your channel. Um, I'm sure your next Spider-Man content in the future is going to be really, really good for 2024. You're going to produce so much good stuff, man. So, And I was glad to do the effects. So I got a little bit of a sneak peek before everybody else did. Just a round of applause for you, man. A round of applause for you. You did such a good job. Everybody did such a good job with this. All the cast, they did such an amazing job of training these characters. Yeah, man, I, lo I loved it all. It was so good. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. If there was anything I forgot to talk about, or if there was anything that I may have missed, just let me know down in the comments below, because I was, as I said, there was like, oh my god, I was looking at this, I was looking at that, I was looking at that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lucas, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you haven't watched the original fan film already, like, what are you doing here? Go watch it right now. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later, and I hope you all have a good day. See ya.